can you guess what's for dinner tonight? I have some bell peppers and I have lime. <laughs> Fajitas. Okay, tonight I'm making one of our favorites, yet one of our easiest, quickest um, meals, lean and greens ever. We love them. It's a staple in our house and it's fajitas. So what I have is I've already sliced up uh, one green bell pepper and one sweet orange bell pepper. I'm just gonna put those in the bowl. And of course, I forgot something like I always do. Gotta go get the meat. So I forgot the meat and I forgot the <laughs> cooking sheet. All right, so it's one pound of chicken tenders. I buy the ones that are already um, cooked or that are already sliced. Forgot something else, hold on. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit in a hurry because my granddaughter texted me a few minutes ago and wants to FaceTime. And I've only got like this window of 30 minutes when I can call her. So I told her as soon as I got the fajitas in the oven, I would FaceTime her. All right, so I'm just mixing, I'm gonna put it all together. This is so simple, y'all. Okay, I've got everything in the bowl, the peppers and the chicken. Now what I'm gonna add to that is one teaspoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of fajita seasoning of your choice. Um, low sodium would be best. I couldn't find one, so I just got the regular McCormick's fajita seasoning. One teaspoon. No, hang on. Two teaspoons of oil and two teaspoons of fajita seasoning. And as usual, I will post the recipe so you don't have to worry about my mishaps or remembering. All right, so let me put another teaspoon. I didn't think that seemed like enough oil for all that. Juice of a half of a lime. Squeeze that all on there. I've already got my oven preheated to 400. And then you're just gonna mix this all around. You could do this in a bowl like I'm doing, or you could do it in a big baggie and you know squish it around. That's a really good way to coat everything, actually. It's probably even better than the bowl. You just wanna make sure, oh God, that smells so good. I know I'm chopping off my head, but then... <laughs> oh, y'all, the struggle is so real in trying to make these videos because especially the cooking videos, the clothing videos are easy. These are hard because I'm trying to get the food in it and myself because I'm talking and it's just, sometimes it just don't work. All right, I'm gonna spread this all out on the cookie sheet. Hold on. All right, there we go, guys. And I usually just for good measure squirt a little bit more lime juice right on the top, just to, you know. And if you spread it out good and thin like that, those bell pepper strips will get really yummy, kind of caramelized and crispy. So, all right, I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Okay, while that's baking, I'm gonna go FaceTime with my granddaughter. Okay, I just pulled these yummy chicken fajitas out of the oven. Now I'm gonna go fix my plate. Whew, I'm ready for dinner. Uh, Scott's not quite ready to eat, so I'm on my own tonight. We're gonna go solo. Um, I, wanna see, I want you to see this beautiful plate, so I'm gonna Lower my camera so you can see everything. Hold on. Okay. What do I have here? What I did is I separated, I split my protein between the chicken and the cheese. This is low fat reduced cheddar cheese, two ounces, and then four ounces of chicken. That makes my complete leaner, okay? The oil that was used is my healthy fat. The bell peppers, the romaine lettuce, and this um, salsa make up my three greens. So this is one and a half green worth of romaine lettuce leaves, a half a green worth of bell peppers cooked, and then one green of salsa. Then this yumminess right here is two condiments, and it is this. It's by Tostitos, and uh, two tablespoons is two condiments or one healthy fat. Well, I already used my healthy fat with olive oil, so we're having two condiments. Let me move you back up. All right, guys, I'm gonna go dig in. And I, I'm gonna tell you, I love, I'm gonna go ahead and build you one and show you. So hold on. Because the very first time I ever had a fajita on a lettuce leaf, I thought, oh God, I'm gonna miss the tortillas. I don't. I think even once I'm in optimization, I probably won't use the tortillas because all that heavy flour just takes away from the yummy flavor of all the other stuff. So I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build my fajita and then I'll show you. Here's one little fajita romaine lettuce boat. So good, I bet I'm gonna get three of these, y'all. I don't know if I can eat it all. <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty hungry. I was at the pool all day, so I'm pretty hungry. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do this without making a total mess. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I hope I'm not making a total mess because that is so good. I love cooking the bell peppers till they get kind of crispy. Oh my gosh, those are so good. All right, y'all. Have a great night. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Cook a Lean and Green. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. <laughs> I'm so bad about talking with my mouth full on these videos. Y'all have a great day. Be blessed, be well, be safe, and we'll see y'all next time.